Most people don't know how to set a formal table. I don't know why you would need to know how to set a formal table, but in case you were wondering, here's how to set a proper formal table. First you start with a charger plate. A charger plate is basically a really big plate that you're not allowed to eat off of. Instead you use it as a placeholder for your dinner plate. Your dinner plate is then accompanied by the salad plate because apparently your salad is too good to be on the same plate as the rest of your dinner. That's right, we have three different plates for no particular reason. Now you have a dinner fork and dinner knife on either side of your stack of plates. Just make sure to keep forks on the left. And don't forget, this is separate from your salad fork and soup spoon, because again, it's incredibly important that your salad have its own dedicated setup. Not to mention this adorable little teaspoon, because God forbid you stir your tea with the spoon that you already have. Over here on the left, you have yet another plate and butter knife for your bread. Yes indeed, to be proper, you need to give your bread its own knife and plate. Four plates on the table and a stack of silverware, let's move on to glassware. To be proper, you need a water glass, a wine glass, and a champagne flute. If that's not a waste of space, I don't know what is. If you're having dessert this evening, you'll need yet another teeny tiny pair of fork and spoon that sit just above your whole setup. And to top it all off, you can set a poorly folded napkin on top of the whole shebang. And voila! You're ready to eat the most pretentious meal of your life. This is so unnecessary. Thank <laughs> you.